Hey guys, welcome to a special Friday edition of SJ Games Live. No, we're not, not normally on Fridays, but hey, we, we, we wanted to get something done this week and we had some issues with some construction earlier in the week, so we're here today. Today we're unboxing another Munchkin product. We've been on a bit of a Munchkin tear. You might have remembered our Munchkin and Mazes unboxing from last week. Check that out after this if you haven't. Uh, but we got Munchkin Something Fishy. This is a new expansion. It's not a numbered expansion, but it, it is designed to go with any Munchkin game, but it has fantasy card backs like the original Munchkin. Uh, it's just kind of a standalone that has a specific theme to it, kind of like um, Jurassic Snark, which I believe did have a number to it, but it had a specific like theme. Uh, this one's based around fish, and we've got uh, Lara Souza doing the art. You might remember him from uh, Munchkin Guest Artist Editions in the past. He's done a lot of stuff with us. Uh, Scarf and Barf, ton of, ton of different games. Uh, but we're going to dive into this one, unbox it, show you all the cards, and uh, yeah, just hang in there with me. I'll get that open right now. This is eleven ninety five, and for once, I'm unboxing something that you can purchase right now. This is available on Warehouse 23. I believe, Jim, you'll throw that link in the description below. And uh, it is also available at your local game store, so check that out as well. You can uh, get that either place. We've got our little rules insert here, which should have... Pretty much just a clarification of all the stuff that uh, a little keyword stuff will add for Munchkin on the back, which I actually really like that ad. Looks good. And I will use my plus one knife cutting here. Go ahead and get in this. So this is one I have not taken a look at. This uh, I, I, I usually have some some kind of insight as to some of the cards in the set, but I've not seen anything here. I think the only thing I've seen is Bull Shark because it was on the cover. There we go. Yeah. Safely put that away over here. And we're going to go to the overhead here and kind of frame that up. We'll put the box there. And I will, let's see. We got doors and some treasures. Usually these expansions have more doors than treasures. You usually want more monsters and stuff. And so let's go through the doors first, and then we'll go through the treasures. Oh, nice. Okay. We got a curse. Uh, how do you say this? The Goo Duck? I think it's called Gooey Duck? Gooey Doom. Yeah, Gooey Duck. It's I know that it's not it's not how it looks. Uh, so we got a curse. It's a lose two levels curse. O carp. Lose a level. So as you can tell, we're gonna get a lot of fish buns, folks. Strap in. Uh, shark shark a cane. It's, a, it's, it's not a Sharknado, it's a shark a cane. Another curse there. Uh, in your next combat, shark get plus five. Okay, so we, we know that sharks are back. So if you uh, ever played any of our specific themed munchkins, you might know sharks from Munchkin Booty. Uh, they, I believe there's some in the regular game too. T those types tend to cross over. So you'll have stuff at Munchkin Booty. You'll have some sharks in regular Munchkin as well. Something fishy. That's the title card. Lose a level. And we've got some wandering monsters, always a classic. I love Lars art. Uh, his stuff is so evocative. It's very, it's very uh, comic strip like. I love it. Another wandering monster, classic. Uh, Bluetooth enabled. <laughs> okay. Plus five to monster. Okay. Okay. Dang Andrew. Uh, fantastic. Just throw a fin on it. Plus five to a monster. Play out any non-shark monster, it, gonna, it counts as a shark, and it gets plus five. Batfish, level two. Uh, the legally distinct batfish. Oh, we all love that. Level two orc a. Uh. Oh, it's an it's an oh boy. There's our there's our orc facsimile. The sea monster. It is a sea monster. This is this is already pretty good. I love this. Odd cod. It's just got a pinwheel cap. I love it. Plus five against munchkins whose combat strength is even numbers. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. That's neat. Salmon chase? Okay. Okay. I get you. That's our level six. It looks like these are these should be close to the right order. So I, I'm always interested in seeing who the boss monster is. Uh, Triggerfish. And it's he's using lots of real fish names. It looks like Andrew got to go through a... An encyclopedia of fish, <laughs> and makes them. And they were. He's just like, oh, the the puns have been made for me. <laughs> Angelfish, oh, it's so cute. Uh, can be played for a plus three bonus 
to the munchkins who's oh cool 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 against the devil fish so the angel fish can be a bonus against the devil fish <laughs> that's cute bone fish oh that's i really like that art actually yeah it's an undead too that's uh, that's a good note uh so some of these will have different types as well plus three against uh munchkins with no free hands have, have a hard time dealing with the bonefish uh nefarious porpoises <laughs> nefarious porpoises oh that's a good one uh they gang up on you plus four uh unless you have a, a helper okay so you can so again in sets that have helpers that's pretty good uh the hairy hairy herring it looks like he's got some dreadlocks going on plus three against bald players well uh, a few years uh, there this thing's gonna get plus three against me <laughs> it's happening there it is the bull shark so you'll notice some of them have the shark type so again those are specifically that 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 may it tie into other cards as we've already seen like shark shark a cane minus three against warriors marlin brando oh my goodness <laughs> Uh, the whore, if there are any undead uh, in the combat, Marlin gets plus five. Wow. Oh, that's our cheat cards. Uh, these are pretty standard among all Munchkin games. Every time you add an expansion in, you want to throw in some copies of cards that are already in there just because the more stuff you add to the game, the less odds that you get of getting some of those cards. So things like cheat, things like wandering monsters, those are cards that are really integral to playing the game. So it's good to have extras of those. Curse. You smell it. Curse, you're all wet. That's just a lose level there. Get schooled. Play during any combat. Each player, uh, starting with the player currently in combat, may add one monster to the fight. Oh, jeez. That could be bad. That's like an that's like an ultimate wandering monster right there. The one that got away. Bye! I love that. That's cute art. Oh no! <laughs> Don't sing it, please! We got Baby Shark, folks. It had to be there. Since the last booty expansion got made to now when something fishy, Baby Shark existed. So <laughs> we had to get it in there. Uh, level 1 Shark. That's cute. That's adorable picture. The Hermit Crab. There's another level 1. Uh, weak, but his wisdom is powerful. Can be played as a one shot plus ten bonus to either side in combat. Wow, a level ten that turns or a level one that turns into a plus ten is really good. Lemon shark. It's got puckery lips. I love that. If the lime shark is also in this fight, it gets plus five. So I guess we'll be looking for the lime shark. And there it is. <laughs> we got the lemon and lime sharks. I'm a really big fan of hammerheads. Actually, they were my favorite shark when I was a kid. And I've revealed that when you're a kid, you have favorite sharks. So there you go. When I was a kid, we had the um, the shark fruit snacks. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but they were these shark fruit snacks in like the early 90s. I used to eat them all the time. Uh, lime shark, so it gets a bonus if the lemon shark's in play. Angler fish. It is a fish that's trying to angle humans with a hamburger. That's cute. The ghostly whale. Another undead. Hey, we've got some more undead happening. I like this. Plus four against dwarves. Looney tuna. The legally distinct tuna fish. <laughs> that definitely isn't anything else. Holy mackerel. It's a Friar Tuck mackerel. I love this. It's a level six. Uh, the rainbow trout. It's a looks like a clown Elvis. Is that what I'm getting from this? Plus six if it is currently uh what is that? Pride month. Oh. That's cute. I like that. Devilfish. Hey, we saw that earlier with the angelfish. Uh, it can also be played as a plus six bonus against the the angelfish. So it's a, it's got its own bonus. The leopard shark. It's a level nine shark. So we've we got, got more sharks here. Plus four, there's a cat in the room. <laughs> you are playing this. Okay, that's cute. And plus eight if it's actually at the table. Oh, that's that's cute. So it has to do with your actual cats. So if you have cats, that's your card. The bonnet shark. That is adorable. Plus four if you're not wearing headgear. Because you're obviously... It wants its bonnet. The dragonfish. Oh, it's a dragon. 
I wasn't expecting more dragons in the set. Big weapons do double damage, but it's immune to fire and flame attacks. It's level 14. The giant clam. Cute. Level 16. We're getting close to the boss here, I think. So I think this is one away. The Sturgeon General. Minus four against clerics. And yep, our level 20. The Shark Thulu. Oh, we got a Cthulhu card. And it's a shark. That's awesome. I wasn't expecting a, something that could fit in with much of Cthulhu there. You may as well just give up now. It's just the text on it. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, must have run low on battery on that one. So, yeah, we got Shark Thulu. That's awesome. So, we've got a new Cthulhu stuff. That That's a really good variation. So, what I look for in expansions is getting a good variation of stuff that works in a lot of different sets. So, that we got sharks. We've got dragons. We've got undead in here. Where's undead? And and we've got stuff with special rules like the, the Pride Month Rainbow Trout the cat the using cats at the table so this is a really there's a lot of cool uh cool mechanics in this one to look at let's look at the treasures now see what else this thing offers this is a little bit shorter again we have less treasures generally than we have monsters a lot of these are probably gonna be one shots uh go fish one shots uh go through the discard to find any one card okay so it's a it's a uh, it's a get get a card back essentially that's always a good one a fishbowl, we got a headgear, just a just a plus one bonus, nothing crazy. Fisherman's rules. It makes every it makes everything bigger? Oh I get it. Fisherman's rules. Get it, gotcha. Uh, this card must be played when an item that gives a combat bonus. Oh, it has to be played with one, sorry. Okay, so it's an extra combat bonus. Cool. But it has to be used with an item that gives a combat bonus. Neat. It's like an enhancer. It's an, it is an enhancer. Uh, plus two bonus, fish stick. There you go. Fish with a stick. Carp DM sees the, uh, the carp. Is that the scene? I believe I'm looking at the scene from, uh, Dead Poet Society, <laughs> but with a fish. I might be crazy. It's the, it's the fish on the desk. Go up a level. Visit a coral reef. Oh, that's adorable. Go up a level. Win one for the kipper. That is a deep cut. I like it. Sports fans, go up a level. Uh, net profit. Also, I like uh, in treasure cards, especially once I go through the door cards, I can kind of see references to other monsters and stuff in the art for the treasures. Uh, so it's a one-shot. Use when you're selling items for a uh, level. Uh, you may discard one monster card for a value... Uh, equal to its level. Okay, cool. That's actually really cool. I like that there's a lot of different ways in this game, in this uh, specific expansion that turn your monsters into other stuff. Like the angelfish and the devilfish let you turn monsters into bonus levels. The uh, or not in the bonus levels, like one shots and like the the hermit crab being a level one monster that can turn into a plus ten bonus. That's really cool. I like the multifunctional cards. Throwing starfish. That's a plus four one shot. Cute. Fish sauce. Oh, no. It's got to get off the fish sauce. Uh, plus four to either side or plus seven against a shark. So, again, that's where that shark typing really comes into play. Floundered. Or flounder. Not just floundered. Okay. Uh, Munchkin successfully runs away. Okay, it's just one of those. If you run away, you don't run away. That's nice. Plus three razor fish. It's a one-hand weapon. Nice. Scale armor, plus three. Okay, nice. Swordfish. This is the stuff, you gotta get the plus three one hand, so you can have a plus six with both of those. And our big one, the spear gun. That is pretty violent, actually, in a thing of all fish. So that is Munchkin something fishy.
that that's a really fun little expansion. I like it. Hope hope you guys liked checking that out with me. Not a not a super big expansion, but again, it's only a twelve dollar expansion, so you can throw this in the engine of Munchkin. Uh, it does have the classic card backs, so again, if you like the fantasy games, this mixes right in. But uh, I think honestly, regardless of card backs, you should check this out with uh, Munchkin Booty because Munchkin Booty with this it just adds to the fun with munchkin booty you have more sharks uh you get to throw some undead into the mix a lot of the cards in here function off of the shark abilities and those are going to mix in really well with munchkin booty and its expansions so i'll check that out we did we did do a munchkin booty guest stars edition uh that's a really fun edition it has all the deluxe components so it has a it has a board it has uh standees and a scoreboard and all that kind of stuff so uh, if you want to check that out that's also on warehouse 23 and you should still be able to find that in game stores as well uh, we still also have the core edition if you don't need the board and stuff like that. But if you have the choice, you should probably get the one with the board. It's always useful. And it also has a couple of expansions itself. So if you're into stuff like this, if you're into pirates, if you're into sharks, check out Munchkin Booty. Check out something fishy. And also, you want to check out next week. We've got another Munchkin unboxing. A really highly requested one. Really highly anticipated. We're going to unbox the Ops new Munchkin Disney. So if you've been wanting to take a look at that, uh, that has just hit stores as well this past week. Uh, we will be taking a look at that unboxing it, showing you all the good Disney fans. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed something fish cheek. Check this out. And have yourself a fishy good time. And I will see you next time on SJ Games Live.